CES 2020 or the Consumer Electronics Show is going to be next week. What are some of the things we're looking forward to? Well, let's talk about them. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to subscribe if you like my content. Leave a comment below. What's something at CES 2020 that you're most looking forward to? The first thing that I'm really looking forward to is going to be whatever AMD may announce. Apparently, there are some rumors that they may be announcing some more Ryzen 4000 series information. I'm really curious to see what happens because as we saw in 2019, AMD just pretty much wiped the floor in the CPU space. I mean, their CPUs were priced amazingly and had fantastic performance. So we're going to see how Intel has to respond. But more interestingly, as AMD really is in the lead right now and just pushing forward, I'm really curious what they're going to come up with at CES 2020. And aside from AMD possibly announcing some information on the 4000 series CPUs, they're also very likely to be talking a lot about laptop hardware. Now, for anybody that does mobile gaming, sometimes you know, I have a laptop with an Intel processor. Um, Intel has definitely been dominant in the laptop market, but if AMD decides to step it up in the laptop market, that could be amazing. If, if they can bring some of that same competition and technology to laptops, and that would lead to even better desktop CPUs in the future. At the same time that we're excited to see what AMD may announce, Intel may also make an announcement of their own. We know that they're working on the 10 series mainstream CPUs, which is going to include the 10,900K. I know that's a big name, but this is supposed to be a 10 core processor with a thermal velocity boost all the way up to 5.3 gigahertz out of the box. So if that happens, I mean, that's pretty cool. If it's going to be priced really well, um, all that's going to mean is AMD is going to have to have even better competition than they have now. And it's going to be better for the consumer in the long term because these CPU battles really benefit us as we get better and cheaper products. Now, interestingly enough, Apple's supposed to be at CES 2020. And as PC gamers, usually we don't care too much about that, but there's been some rumors lately that they have a rumored $5,000 gaming Mac on the horizon. What in the world could that be? Could we possibly learn something at CES? I don't think so. I think it may be a little bit too soon and it could be just rumors. Most likely Apple's just going to announce software news and things of that nature. But one must wonder, is there really going to be a $5,000 gaming Mac? And would any of us be interested? That seems really expensive. It would have to be an absolutely amazing gaming system that you didn't have to upgrade for years for it to be worth it. So we'll see if we hear anything about that. In terms of graphics cards, would be pretty cool to see if NVIDIA has something that may be on the horizon. AMD also is rumored to be having something like the Navi 20 or something like that. They really need a GPU to compete with the higher end NVIDIA cards. Right now, their best SKU is really that 5700 XT, and that's really kind of comparable to a 2070 Super, a little bit slower. So they really have nothing to go up against the 2080 and 2080 Ti. So are we going to see a GPU that's going to compete with those higher end models? possibly even at a more competitive price as AMD is known to do. I don't know. We're going to have to see next week and see whatever they may announce at CES. Intel is also joining the market with a dedicated GPU. Now, this is pretty crazy because for as long as we can remember, it's been AMD and NVIDIA. Of course, ATI was way back in the day, but recently it's really been AMD and NVIDIA. So if Intel joins the game and they do a good job, I mean, the company does have a lot of resources, even though they kind of dropped the ball a little bit on desktop top CPUs as as we know with all the recent battles with AMD Ryzen imagine if it was optimized and worked even better with their own CPUs that would be a GPU that has a lot of potential let's talk a little bit about VR virtual reality as well as you know haptic feedback and things of that nature to give you a real good experience i mean i stepped into the VR game when you know Oculus came out um, of course also the the Vive is very good but it's been a little bit funny because the support is there. I think they really did try. It's just not something that seems to be spreading too much. In the beginning, it was a little bit expensive and it's something you kind of had to be tethered to a big desktop that was really powerful. Now they're getting a little bit better with the more mobile VR headsets. So I'm really interested to see what CES 2020 might have to offer. Now CES is also going to be packed with different type of technologies from phones to refrigerators to anything you can imagine. So as the week goes by, 
by. Um, I'm going to cover some of the most interesting stuff. Of course, giving preference to PC hardware for PC building, PC accessories, if you see some cool gaming mice or keyboards or something like that, or even GPU news. But if I see something else with different technologies that also catches my eye, I'm also going to do some videos next week about it. So stay tuned as I think CES 2020 is going to be pretty exciting. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to stay tuned next week. We're going to have some more CES 2020 coverage as it develops, and I'll see you guys on the next video.